Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about what is coming up in October. We have three brand new characters being entered into the game via their marquee events. First, I just want to touch on Chapter 4 of the raid. We are expecting that somewhere between mid to late October. We don't have any official updates on that at the moment. We will bring that to you as soon as that information comes to us. But today we are going to focus on these three new characters. They have given us a new what if scenario and this focuses on Balin and the dwarves after the events of Erebor when they went to retake Moria. This scenario does take them through Lothlorien. They do meet Galadriel and Celeborn and decide to help them with their little orc problem in exchange for some assistance to take back Moria from the goblins. So what characters can we expect to see? Well, the three that we are going to get does start with Balin. He's obviously gonna have some kind of leadership ability. The kits have not been released just yet. Once we do have that information, I'll make sure I put something together so that we can go through those kits and see how they're going to be used in different teams. But Balin is going to be the center of whatever team you're going to be using here. But the one thing that we can gather from the article is that he's going to have some synergy, not only with dwarves, but also with elves. I'm sure whatever dynamic he is going to bring to the game is going to be vital in taking down that Balrog. So we're really going to have to have a deep dive once this team is fully released. As for the other two characters, if you're expecting more of Thorin's company, unfortunately we're not going to see them at this stage. Instead, they've given us two elves to accompany Balin on this particular quest. These elves are Rumil and Orofin, who are the brothers of Haldir. You may remember Haldir from the movies. He was also the elf that did bring the assistance to Rohan at Helm's Deep. I'm not really too familiar with his brothers if there is a lot of lore surrounding them. I think they are actual characters from the book somewhere along the line. But what is really interesting is they have kind of blended them with the dwarves in the way that they've given them their weapons. So one of them does have a spear and a dwarven shield, while the other one wields a pair of dwarven axes. Being brothers, I would expect them to have some kind of synergy together the same way that we have Elodin and Elra here. I think it is quite exciting to get some brand new characters into the game. These models I don't think are anywhere in the game. I don't remember seeing them. So it's great that we have something brand new. I would have preferred something from the shadow side, but it is what it is. We're going to get some more light side characters for October. Hopefully November and December we're going to see a lot more from the shadow team. But for now, we're going to get these guys into the game. I'm really excited to see their kits and just see what kind of dynamic they have and what teams we're going to have to put together because I know these guys will be important in that final chapter of the raid. But that's it for this one, guys. Just a short one today. Once we get more information, I'll make sure we do a bigger deep dive on this team. So don't forget, like and sub, you know the deal. We've got plenty more Heroes of Middle-Earth coming your way. Don't miss out, and we'll catch you in the next one.